Priest and Max B. Right. Producer, you. artist extraordinaire. Ow. Hi. Boo. Now you are Dan Reese. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, do you? Um. Hi. Oh, wow. <laughs> Max B. Got all the hugs and whatnot. Nice to meet you all. So both of you. Oh, wow. What's going on? All right, fellas. Have a seat right over here. How silly you are, girl. You try and be down with the dip shit. Yeah. Well, then you gotta get your lips wet. Yo. Cheese up, nigga. Hold down. down. If the bitch can't swim, she gon' drown. She gonna... I gotta see how that thing sound, but I got it. I'ma come right in with a dip shit, huh? Max B. Hey, Jim Dalton, right? He's the one who put Max B on. Max B is from my building. Him and Mike Bruno are from my block. And Max B, you know, I don't, you know, he wasn't Max B. His name was Charlie Rambo. And Charlie was ill, man. Charlie was one of these niggas that would piss in a bottle. And Bones would be sleeping, he'd pour the piss on him and laugh and shit like that. Like, he was a funny nigga. Charlie Rambo was a funny nigga. So, he was always getting in trouble, though, in and out of jail, doing his thing. And, you know, that's just the environment we lived in. So, he got out of jail, he come up to me. This is word for word. So, I'm like, Charlie, what up when you guys say, yo, Flea, I just, just came home. <laughs> I say, you just, oh, y'all say, you always just come it's home. Say, yo, Flea. You know how I rap now, let's get this shit clicking like Dorothy's heels. <laughs> so, yo, I, I laugh like that because I couldn't take him seriously. Because this is my man, he from my building. I'm like, you rap now, Max? I mean, Charlie, he like, yeah, my name is, my name is uh, Bigger Valley. I said, Bigger Valley? He said, I'm Biggie and Tupac mixed in one. But I'm laughing again because, like I said, I know this dude from my building, and, you know, I couldn't really take Max series because I didn't see the potential because, you know, I'm not God. I don't always catch every audience and be like, oh, how you miss this thing? I, I just didn't see it because I fuck with him. And I didn't hear him rap at that time. I never heard him rap. So I guess Jim, some type of way, got with Max. I don't know how Bruno, Mike Bruno got with Jim and they got together. So Jim called me like, yo, I'm going to fuck with Max B. And I'm like, yo, guy, do your thing. I didn't, I didn't know it would be this type of situation. I'm just being totally honest. I didn't know. That's my nigga. He put me in the game. Him and Bruno put me in the game. So I'm obligated to these niggas to shit get to shit get where it need to be. Niggas gonna put me where I need to be. Then boom, then it's gonna be a go. Jim started kick. We fly high, man. Repping time is cool. What is that? Wait. Tell him I want to cover. Tell Dub Magazine I want to cover for me and Joel's. Cause Joel's got all white cars and I got all black cars. Smell me? That should be about a good twenty some awesome cars on the cover. We just take a whole garage of stone. I want to put this just in the elevator. You know the elevator? You know the elevator garage? It's just the stunt. Tell you, we taking up five rows of that nigga. All those hours right there, like the drawers and all that. Like pull that out. For those who don't know, this is the New York City Stunt King. This man, I ain't gonna say This man right here is the stop. Folks, man. This nigga is crazy right here, man. Yeah, I'm going up to town. I'm gonna take my homie money too. Take my son to Toys R Us. Yeah, I don't mess with that. Pooty, Pooty, shout out to Pooty. My man. Very nice. So, Max B, now you, uh, my friend, you had a falling out with Jim Jones, right? Yeah, we had our mutual differences. How's Max P doing, man? Max P is alright. Max P is currently incarcerated. <laughs> well, let me just let me just ask well, you. Well, I saw Max in the club about a couple months ago, and Max was like, "Yo, you want me to come up there and air out, Jim?" Max B. Now, I'm a resident of Jersey, and I know that uh, you had a little uh, arrest that went down on like Route Four or something like Before that. Before Lee. Important. He got a two million dollar bill. You dig? They don't want to give him a bond, so the music is a little tough right now. Not familiar with the area. Okay. Explain. <laughs> explain the night. Huh? Oh, you weren't there, but you were. You did get arrested. Explain what happened that night. I can't. <laughs> okay. Did Did Jim Jones bail you out? No. Yeah, it was like it was crazy. Wanted some change, right? The first week was like six, seven hundred thousand. We did it. Yeah, it was a nice look made, for the boy. Made and they put everything in perspective. Let y'all niggas know I wasn't fucking with that dick in the mouth, milly vanilla ass nigga, Jim. Who the streets is talking? I know I already know. The streets talking funny. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think these niggas broke and they ain't getting money. 
can cop the cars with no rules when it gets sunny. That record, that record right there. What, what made you finally say something about certain situations? About what situation? About, it seemed, well, you know a lot of people took the perception as you were talking about Max on that record. Why would they do that? Because you said at the end, I shouldn't have bailed your bum ass out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> as far as that paperwork mm -hmm. goes, what pay? We don't do paperwork nope. no more. There's no such thing as paperwork. Max, I never have another project. There's no negotiation. I don't want to be friends. I don't care about no negotiation because I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Fuck a negotiation. Fuck Jim. <laughs> That's why. That's why. Who, who bailed you out? My manager. My current manager now, her name's Jalay Moore. She bailed me out. How much was your bail? It was 1.5, but then they, when we had came up with it, they made us go back in and do some other shit, so... Yeah, you can't curse. Max's bell was posted um, through a number of different means. Um, we'd like to say, first of all, thank you to the individuals thank that you, assisted thank you, us. Jalay, Jalay Moore. Jalay Moore assisted... Uh, My manager. She's uh, Max's manager. She put up property um, that basically uh, stood in lieu for the bail bondsman, so that the bondsman could actually post the bail. I think the bail was a million five. Yeah. A million five, I think it's one of the biggest bails ever posted in the Bourbon County Courthouse. Um, the other one I'd like to thank, and I don't know if Max will punch me for doing this, but thank Jim Jones for his assistance. Uh, Jim was part of the- Thank you, Jimmy. Jimmy was part of the team that, that uh, put that bail packet together. He was there that day, and I know uh, there's some bad blood at this point between everybody, but, um, on behalf of Max, uh, I think as a gentleman, I think we should thank Jim and wish him the best in his career, um, as I hope he wishes Max, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Made up, go back in and put up another joint, so then it, it really came out to two mil, okay. but it was 1.5. So, so where, where was it Jim? Was, it was two mil, it, it was two mil of property, and then I needed, then I needed like 10% cash of that. So we came up with like 6% cash of that, mm -hmm. that's where Jim came in. But well, I two he didn't pay, that wasn't his cash. Like, I had to give up songs for that cash in exchange. Oh, wait a minute. That's why. <laughs> That's why. That's why. <laughs> right or wrong? I was just popping shit. All right. And I was just told, I'm just, I'm just saying what, I'm just giving people, I was just talking to the people like, you know, it, all, it always hurts when somebody bites a hand that feed them, but. So, could that situation be reconciled with you and him? What was the video with him counting the money saying he was about to that go there? That was the tip of shit with cash he was coming to get me with. I, I know you don't think he was counting two million. It's not right there with no money machine. Like right there before he was, it looked it like juicy like that. But that, that was, that, that's how he make it look like it's extra. But you know. Are you cool with game. him? Are you cool with him? No. 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 How'd it go from, I wouldn't say how'd that. it go from sweet to sour so quick though? Cause dudes don't dudes don't care about me. Dudes want me to work for free, and and I got responsibilities. Like I'm 30 years old, and I'm saying I got a son. Like I need money too. Like dudes want me to work for free. You know, dudes got accustomed to that. You know what I'm saying when I came home, I had a little buzz. Dudes like yo Max, man, what's up? Like you gonna go back to working for this? How long were you in jail? <laughs> On this one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all ever sit down and just like, cause you know y'all made incredible music together. Listen. For the for the love of the music. Listen. Let them know. No. So so and a lot of people you know that they were saying that you was tied in for ten hours. Is that like you hey, want to flare that up? Jim got all his music. Okay. <laughs> I, I wrote ten albums for that nigga. He got him in his drive already. I don't owe nothing. Niggas got his. He got all his songs already. How you think he got so hot? Came out with all them tapes. I did that. I put them hooks together. But you, you know, like, like for the from the fans' point of view, y'all made some incredible music together. I made incredible music. All he did was rhyme sixteen. Well, you know, <laughs> I made incredible. I made the hooks. I made the melodies. Yeah. I made the shit, dog. I'm the man. He just was a part of it. When when them publishing checks break down and the, and, and the hook is 35 percent and the rest goes, the other 50 percent go to the producer and the rest of that shit go to the niggas that's on it. The mother niggas don't mean nothing. The nigga on the hook you hear three four times on the song. That's the nigga. The niggas had me lined up like I only do hooks. I'm a nice nigga all around, dog. I write songs. I write R&B. I write everything. You want to know for future references? What line do a nigga cross to make you never fuck with him again? What line is that so? This one, this one, you integrity, you a bum ass nigga. Like, you a bum ass nigga, you just a bum ass nigga. Smell me, you don't know no better, man. You a bottom feeder. You like the nigga that 
peel gum off the bottom of tables and shit like that. Nigga, take anything. Aiming at the bird gang, aiming at the bird gang ship. I'm sinking the ship. Jim sold 17. Shout out to Jim, he sold 17,000 this week. What a disgusting number. What a flop. <laughs> okay, Chrissy, no new teeth with them numbers. Jim sold 17,000, man. <laughs> Y'all be the judge of that, man. <laughs> Yo, I was watching something on the World Star Hip Hop like I think it was yesterday. And uh, you were saying some shit about Chrissy, bro. What's up with you and Chrissy, man? What about, <laughs> sad about the fake teeth and shit? <laughs> What's that about, man? I don't know if you ever heard this kid, kid this kid named Daddy O. Daddy O? Yeah, Spanish kid named Daddy. Okay. It's a Spanish kid. Okay. He used to mess with the I don't know if you ever ran I don't know if you ever ran into this girl named Chrissy. Yeah, I heard of Chrissy. Okay, Chrissy was the young she was the young, bad little girl everybody was being with. Okay. So it started off with me and Rich, A, and then she just wanted, but she was madly in love with me. Okay. She was madly in love with me, but I just could never really get into her like that because I was doing other things and she wasn't sucking the dick. You hear me? I used to tell them girls, I don't care what your mama tell you. I know your mother tell you the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. No. What I'm poor, it was through his dick. Okay. You suck poor dick, he was loving. I got to have that Antoine. You hear me? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I got to have, I got to have the head, man. You got to suck the willy, man. You know? I'm not messing with you. I'm leaving you. <laughs> so, anyway, the girl Chrissy was with this kid Daddy. It is what it is, man. You no, know, she was fucking with them boys back in um Lincoln back in the day. She used to fuck with the kid Daddy. You know, God bless the dead Daddy. He was a real big nigga out here. Oh, he got, he got, you know, killed and shit back in the day. She went on, stole the nigga money out of her, man, you know? They just kicked the wrist teeth out, man, all that shit fake. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us about the first time you met Chrissy? We went to a club, it was, uh, it was a Thursday night. Got the name of the shit, is in Miami. They used to do it every Thursday night, remember? It's like 04. She in there, she from Harlem. Um, She run down on me, like, nigga, you know who I am, doing her Harlem shit. She's a little older than me, so, you know, niggas, I always had a crush on her, um, exchange numbers, and then we leaving out that night, leaving out the club. I'm not saying, I told her, I'll see her later, and then I see her get into an argument with a big nigga. One down, and, what's up, man, y'all niggas, y'all, how you <laughs> And that, um, that night turned into a very long night, so, that was the... That was the That was the introduction. That was the introduction. But we always knew each other from Harlem from or I knew who she was and then because of me started doing music, she knew who I was and seen a few times where she'd be like, What's up, little nigga and shit like that. So Right. So and I she's from a she's from the era of the niggas that was really doing it. The pay them for era. That's her era. Like she's really from the era. She was doing it. She was backing out cars, big jewelry, all the niggas want like she was still is one of the top, but you heard like in Harlem, you know, so is that wherever you at there's always that that niggas be, oh nah that and I was able to you heard? <laughs> True story, man. She, I, I know like, I'm from Lennox, man. She from yeah, Lennox Terrace, so she right down the block from me, like. Right, right. So you know, all this shit is like, you know, I don't, I ain't out here. I'm a real nigga, man. I keep it tall, man. You know what I'm saying? Now my dick chuck in the club. <laughs> I'm sure you did. When was the last time that happened? That was in 2005, he knows the year. <laughs> November, in Opium, in Miami. Wow. Even knows oh, where it was. She stuck Opium my head under her shirt and did like this. Wow. She did you like, come? No, no. You didn't come? Were you nervous? She couldn't probably no, do it that long. No, I wasn't long. nervous. She just wasn't wavy with her mouth like she thought she was. Hey, turn this nigga, turn his back. Bitch out there fucking with them gangsters. Smell me? That's what it is. So, you yo, did? I'm here with... Would you like eating used bubble gum? <laughs> huh? What'd you say? Would you like chewing used bubble gum? I don't know. I ain't what never type of it. niggas these niggas <laughs> is? <laughs> Chew used bubble gum ass niggas. So, so the project... <laughs> So the, so the project that you had with him, do you are you you still got it? Or you going what? She touched it in Miami. She 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 touched it in Miami. Told me in Opium. She touched it in Miami. Told me in Opium. She touched it in Miami. Told me in Opium. She loved it in her family. How long were you in jail this this particular time, Max? I did two months. Two months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Since you were in jail, how long have you been out? Since I've been out, I've been out for about a year. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay
Not like a year out, I think. Because this case still pending, though. Yeah, I'm still, I still. And and so, were you in a club in Newark and then ran up on you? Yeah, they tried. <laughs> Okay, talk, <laughs> talk about that. When did we that heard, happen? We heard he roughed that you was, up a little bit. No, 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 no. That's no, what we heard. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not true. That's to the total opposite. They tried to rough me up. They tried to get crazy, but... My guys in order, everything was in order. Like, yeah, we didn't really not a hair on my chinny chin chin. Yeah. So, where do you, I mean, what happens when you see him out? Do you ever, is that I don't see him. No, I don't see him. He don't, I don't see him. I might get prank callers and stuff like that, but I don't pay that no mind. Like, I'm a G. Like, I got like 50 guys downstairs right now waiting for something to go down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Start beefing niggas from my block. How the fuck you let that go down, Cam? I'm like, yo, cut this shit. You knew you ain't know Charlie was gonna be this good. Cut it out. You ain't know Charlie was gonna be this fucking good. Yeah, but no, man, now fucked up. Him and Jim beefing now, man, fucked it, man. I'm like, yo, bro, I don't, I don't know. I can't really get into Max B, Jim Jones beef. I don't really know how that shit started, but Max B always coming to me on the block, like, flee, man, get me out, let me come fuck with you. I said, man, I'm gonna keep it 100, bro. I'm gonna keep it all the way tall. I didn't see it, I didn't know. And you and Jim, Jim did see your talent more than any more than more than I did. So I can't just like motherfucking take you from Jim. It's it's his deal and motherfucker, I didn't know you was gonna be this good. I wish I would have because we from the same building, but I just didn't know and I'm being totally honest. So he's forming this bird gang shit. And I'm like, I thought we all supposed to be the diplomat. The project, did you ever have a project with, with Max? Yeah. That was a solo project of his. It's, it's there. <laughs> so what they gotta pay to get that? From? <laughs> it's somewhere on this on the shelf. So look, and I look better than them niggas. That's why them niggas don't want me in the front. Cause I look better than them niggas. And when you look better and get all the bitches, nigga don't want you in the front. Let me let me ask you something. The last time we did the come up, you was being real political about your situation. You didn't really go into. That was a what long was time going ago. on? It was a, yeah, it was a lot. What transpired? What day made you say, fuck that, I'm just going to air out all my grievances with the situation? It was no, it was, it's a vigilante season, man. I done rolled and became a boss since the last time you met me, man. Okay. Things just changed, man. Niggas running around talking about I'm a lord, nigga, man. I run the organization, man. The streets is mine, man. I make, I make, I make bread and I, and I, like, niggas follow me, man. I don't. I would never work for that cornball ass nigga again. Me? I'm a boss. I'm not with that. It's never. It's never nothing no more. Like I look like a boss. I feel like a boss. I taste like a boss, nigga. Mm -hmm. Max Bigger Val. Fuck out of here, man. So Jim Jones, nigga. Compare the names, nigga. Look, Max Bigger Val. Jim Jones. The fuck out. That shit don't even add up. That nigga not wait. That nigga not on my level, man. <laughs> so so right now. Um, <laughs> You shout gang green a lot. All day, gang let, green. Let, that's let the, the that's know. the organization, let man. Gonna come hold me down, but then like after I, did, after I went to Jersey and dude ain't come get me and my bell got dropped. Gotcha. I said, oh, these dudes trying to, they trying to leave me in here and steal my music. I know I left like a hundred songs in the drive. <laughs> that's what they doing now, but I'm out here doing it, so they lip singing. Everybody know you think you lip singing. I came up with the lip singing concept. <laughs> Public Domain 3. For, for PD3, all of them singing, hosted by Who Kid, um, executive produced by me and Dave Grease. The world loves me. Hey. Are you caught up in with, mm -hmm. with paperwork and stuff with Jim? Because you know you got the whole bird game. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah he's like, still eating off of you. He don't eat because I don't, I don't, he's not eating. He's not doing nothing. He's keep quiet right now. Everything he trying to do, like, I was responsible for everything you heard, Jim, in the last two, year, three years, I was responsible for that. I so was he was ghostwriting for Jim? I was the man kicking out the hits, making the hooks, making, helping verses and doing this and the, all picking the beats and standing in the studio 12 hours a night, making all the songs. 
So now what they doing that I don't mess with them no more. From what I the wait. songs that's left over, they got the they got a kid in there now that, that was on with the Henny joint with me the kid. Hey, the kid, you know what I'm talking about. They got him trying to sound like me singing. So because exactly you've been on cool. practically everything except for maybe balling, right? Yeah, I have write that too. Uh, mm, did you hear the original reference to balling? Stacks wrote that. Yeah. People don't know that. People think that um, when like he would ask me like my input on it, like I helped him a little bit, but Stax wrote that record. Like that's like Stax put that's Stax input. I know Max say that you know he wrote it, but I think Max was locked up when that record got produced and, and created. To be honest, which I understand why you know people would say that they wrote it because I guess they was going through their little thing. Free my nigga Max too. You see what I'm saying? Like we are family, but I gotta give my brother his just due. Like people don't know. A lot of people don't know that. Like Stax imprint is on that record like niggas got niggas running around like i'm a bullshit nigga dog i'm not a bullshit nigga because niggas wouldn't fuck with me from the first place niggas just wanted me laying niggas just thought i was a nigga that just sit back and do nothing while these niggas is looking good trying to do shit and that wasn't my plan dog i did eight years in the can when i came home my job was to come home and do this shit and go somewhere and i be working for a nigga in the studio writing songs while he the only nigga looking hot he the only nigga going to the mall spending ten thousand buying a nigga a t-shirt he spending ten thousand spending five thousand on his bitch this is where everything went all the way downhill i'm being totally honest jim met chrissy and when he met Chrissy, he he been liking Chrissy his whole life. He he loved Chrissy, you know what I'm saying? But he just started messing with her. So you know we you know back then it wasn't you know even though now it's cool back then, or even back then it might have been cool. We was just kind of new to having millions of dollars and money or whatever. So Jim just meet Chrissy and he started messing with her and he's buying her bags and buying her shoes like the first two three weeks he met her or whatever. So. I was like, yo, you tricking, man? What is you doing? You tricking, you bugging, or whatever. So, this is my mistake, and I'm being totally honest. And I, if I can do it over, I swear to God, I would do it all the way over because I see how their relationship grow, and I see they're still together. And I think that's real dope shit. I think that shit is hot. I, I didn't know it would grow to be that, but you just, I'm thinking from a mindset, this is my man. Last month, we was fucking bitches. Now this nigga is buying, what's his name? So, I didn't know it would turn into this. So what I did was I made these t-shirts and it said, Tricky Ricky, AKA Jim Jones is a trick. When I look at you, I think about not only Dipset, Cameron Jewel, I think about Max B. Nah, no Max B, what's up? <laughs> well, I keep talking about dead people and I'll talk about people locked up. What's up? If I say some shit, I want to be able to say it to your face if I have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did? Yeah. So that was one thing I always made it a point to do. So just keep that in mind for yeah. the next time you speak to a real nigga. No doubt. Talk about dead people or somebody's people locked up. Why don't you forgive? I do forgive. I just don't forget. Copper, you really don't forgive. I do forgive. I just don't forget. I got. I'm a passionate person. You know her? Capo. Unpassionate. Compassionate. That's the, that's the word. Oh. But I I I I forgive. I just don't forget. So if you did something to me that I don't appreciate and it's that detrimental, then I believe the best thing for us not to do is not to talk anymore, no matter whatever the circumstances is. So if it's over money, that was a small price I had to pay for not having to deal with you in them situations anymore. And like that but I learned to love a lot of people from afar and it hurts me when I see something happens to those people and shit like that especially anybody that I once loved and shit like that but you cannot violate me and think that I'm gonna ever forget what you did and if you press that line then I'm gonna give you what I should have gave you in the first place is it because because one thing about it you love is it because of what was said bro we're not going into nothing right. you heard you know how this is gonna go I right. gave you a moment to do it but it's, we ain't doing that I don't want I, I don't want you to disrespect nobody. I'm just saying, why don't you forgive? Just can you answer that? Can you answer? Can you answer why you don't forgive? Is it because? Is it because? It I said I do forgive. I just don't forget. But people been trying to squash that, and you don't want to. Mm, I I don't I I don't feel I don't know what you're talking about okay. right now. Shout out to my nigga man. Gorilla Baby. Hold on, let me get on my shit. That's Shout to Gorilla. Shout to Gorilla Baby. That bitch don't make no songs, nigga. 
So this, so this don't make no revenue. This nigga, your mother, the doctor smacked your mother when you was born. Nigga, you're so ugly. Who you talking about? Hell, real. Aka, oh, man, I gotta see this. Well, oh, man. Oh, aka, oh, yeah. aka, aka, hell no. <laughs> the bitches see you, they go, oh hell no, I'm not fucking with that ugly nigga. <laughs> did, did your gripes come when you was it? When you was locked up the last time, or was when you came home? Nah, what, soon what started I, it? Soon started as I stopped, what, still stopped, what, Jim? Yeah, what started, what, what pissed you off that made you say, you know what, fuck this Just situation. the way them niggas be moving, them niggas ain't care about me. When I came home, them niggas ain't show me that they was trying to help me. At least let me just do my own thing and go over there. I'm not trying to, I, I won't, yo, I won't even scream dipshit or nothing. I won't, I just rep the bird and go over there, dog. Yeah. I won't even be in y'all niggas' way. Y'all niggas want to run through Harlem and have Harlem? Y'all can have Harlem. I go move upstate some motherfucking way. I'm going to still be me. Jim cannot come around here, I swear to God, if I take you around Harlem right now, anywhere you want to go in Harlem with this camera, you won't, you, won't, you won't see that nigga. And we can ask niggas, yo, what up, Jim be around here, niggas gonna tell you, hell no. we we'll kill that nigga if we come around here. And on the back of the shirt, I had, we had mad niggas in jail. Snags was in jail, my man Chanel um, from 115th, Young Handsome, he was in jail. We had a lot of niggas in jail at the time, and I was sending them money. So I made the shirt that said Jim Jones, Tricky Ricky, and, and he not looking out for none of our niggas in jail. And on the back of the shirt, I had all our niggas in jail and I had called them a trick. But I wasn't looking like that. I'm looking like that's how we played. I wasn't trying to disrespect them because I didn't know their relationship would grow to be what it was. But them shirts hurt. You know what I'm saying? I had niggas wearing a shirt in the studio because we was cool. Niggas wearing a shirt. Everybody's wearing a shirt. It was just a joke. I didn't know. He took that shit serious, baby. You taco face ass nigga, taco meat face ass nigga. Hell no, hell no, your mother so ugly. Nigga, you and your mother so ugly. The doctor put his dick in your face and came in both of them. You ugly faggot motherfucker. I'm talking about your mother, nigga. Nigga, you's an ugly nigga, your mother ugly. I'm trying to figure out why your pops fucked your moms and came in them. Why he do that? Why you do that? I should have served you, baby. <laughs> why? Why your mom? Why your pops? Where's your pops? I'm your father, like Dark Vader. You, look, you, 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 I am your father. I am your father, Luke. Don't disobey me. You are a gorilla baby. Don't disobey me. You are a gorilla baby. Is it because, because one thing about it, you love, is it because of what was said bro we're not going into is it because is it because it i said i do forgive i just don't forget I was right there, I got the whole thing. You got what? You got Jim going back in there talking about call the police? Did you get that? Nah, he You ain't that. get that? You ain't fucking get that? You ain't get that? That's the studio right there, that's I... that nigga cars. Why you ain't get that? Nigga, nigga. Why you ain't get that, my nigga? You ain't getting nothing no more. Beat on yourself just now. That nigga You ain't getting nothing. mad like that. Just came out the building. It ran right back in the building. The police is here. Get the fellas. Yo, where's Bentley at? Yo, where's Bentley at? <laughs> where's Bentley at? Nowhere to be found. That's a turtle chop. That ain't a Bentley. A nigga riding a turtle chop. Because I put his Bentley in the shop. Go across the street and um, flush him out. Motherfucker, fight me one on one, you bitch. Come out. I'm out knuckle up with the boys Don. Let's fight over that bitch Chrissy. Oh, I can put this big fat dick in her mouth. Yeah, Pull yeah, up yeah. fake teeth out, make her suck it. Yeah, that yeah. bitch come outside, nigga. Yeah, I'm waiting on you. She can suck me in the quick dick. Yo, Chrissy, he had girls with him too. He had mad girls with him. He probably coming out that back way, you gotta watch him. He's, he's slick. He come out that back way, that fire exit. I'm a hand picking up. Go. Got your punk ass. <laughs> your punk ass. Your moist ass.
can't give niggas no fake numbers. I took this. Nah, I'm gonna call this motherfucker. Look, this Max B calling. I wanna call this nigga. <laughs> this shit going straight to voicemail now. I'm gonna call him again. I might call him all night. This nigga scared of me. <laughs> I try to fight this nigga one on one. I try to fuck his girl in her mouth. And that faggot didn't come outside. That faggot nigga, I'm right in front of that nigga's studio building. You look, you look, you fuck, look. You make, you can't make, you ain't catch that footage. I'm mad at you, you made back TV. You look, you look, you look. Right in front of this nigga's shit. That's the turtle chop. That's that nigga Range Rover. That's his shit. You see that shit? <laughs> That's that nigga's shit. See them fucking Jersey plates? You see that shit? The Jersey plates. Catch that shit. That's the, the that's his shit, the sport. They riding out here. Fuck them niggas. We out of here, man. That's bad. And that nigga got the fucking police in front of the building. <laughs> Copper, you really don't forgive. I do forgive, I just don't forget. I got I'm a passionate person. You know her? I forgive, I just don't forget. So if you did something to me that I don't appreciate and it's that detrimental, then I believe the best thing for us not to do is not to talk anymore. I learned to love a lot of people from afar and it hurts me when I see something happens to those people and shit like that, especially anybody that I once loved and shit like that. But you cannot violate me and think that I'm gonna ever forget what you did. Well, I wanna let y'all niggas know too, man. I mean, black balling niggas, man. Like, for nigga like me and nigga like Max, you know what I'm saying? I see. So we're doing this coke wave shot. I'm gonna let you know something, right? You got my nigga Max, right? Fresh home, two million dollar bell, biggest bell out, right? Now you got my nigga fighting for his life, right? And and, and, and and you got niggas like the other fuck nigga holding my nigga paperwork down so he can't even make no money to fight his case. Now you got a nigga fighting for his life on both sides. It's for y'all niggas like everything we always ignorant. To get it on a nigga wife and all like y'all niggas don't see the other side of yeah, don't see the other side. Niggas niggas pouring pouring them calls and telling niggas don't fuck with niggas, don't give us no checks, this and that. See I'm good, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta you know what I'm saying, I'm good, you know what I'm saying? But you can't stop niggas from trying to eat me and you can, you can't expect to get a hit upside your head. You know what I'm saying? The second time you you, you, you fix your car in one month. You know what I'm saying? So we like gotta crash together. You know what I'm saying? Get punched in your face. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things you can't do, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things you can't stop niggas from eating, man. Street niggas, you stop niggas from eating, they coming upside your head, they gonna bite your fucking face off. Yeah. He had these artists, and then like somebody's part of shape. You have Max D. You got stack bundles. Them to a Put them out. You could have ate, you know what I'm saying? Jim kept using them for his albums instead of putting them out. And like I'll be telling people, I'm like, you know, Jim, if you think about it, just think about it. And like I said, I gotta always say no shade because everybody can say, Jim never put no artists out. Jim has never put an artist out. I got all the artists. I got all the talent. I was in the street recruiting all these rappers. Jim ended up getting some rappers, and what he did was use them for his album instead of putting them out. Max B may not be in jail if we put his album out. Or Stack Bundles might have got out of Far Rock if we had an album out. Jim never put these people album out. You know what I'm saying? If just, you know, like I said, just think about it. Google it. Do the homework. What artists he put out? I'm not dissing. I'm not dissing at all.